Cameron, at Districts, the competition, you got some pretty cool stuff. Did you get a highest test score? I did get highest test score at DECA Districts with Corinne. So then that means you must be pretty dang smart. You know, I would like to think so. So that would mean then that maybe you should go to some AP Potential things. Yeah, I, def I got a letter about AP Potential and there's definitely some things held where I can check out AP classes. Wait, so I think this weekend talks about how you can join an AP class, they kind of base it off your PSAT score and whether they or not they think you would do well in the course. I think that's something really cool. Should we learn more about it? Yeah, we should go check out that interview. Let's check it out. Hello, Norristown. My name is Keenan Williams. I'm with Ms. Ugan, and we're going to talk about the AP Potential Day and Night. So, Ms. Ugan, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm mm -hmm. doing great. So what is AP Potential all about? AP Potential is a wording that College Board uses, but I love how Norristown has taken that one simple phrase and we've really made it our own. I've never worked for a district that did so much outreach to try to educate the community and the students about what AP Potential is about. So AP Potential is seeking that student from PSAT results and from teacher recommendation who has the potential to succeed in an AP class and we would like to educate you and bring you on for the challenge to see if it's something that you can handle. It is supposed to be a college level course taught by a teacher who could also teach at a collegiate level and there's a humongous test in May that if you score a three, four, or a five, you potentially could get college credit from the university that you choose to attend when you go to college. So how many attended both day and night? The day and night function happened on the same day and we did that on purpose. So that happened, I believe, on February the 13th, which was last Monday. The morning function was between 7.30 and 10.30. I would say 75 to 80 students were invited throughout the day to sit in on different um, presentations held by the AP teachers. And then the nighttime function was really to educate the parents. And I would say we had maybe 40 or 45 parents come, which I think is a pretty decent showing, uh, given that this was such a select group of students and parents that we were targeting. So how are students selected for AP? I did it differently this year. Normally, I run a report off of College Board, and they will look at all 10th graders that took the PSAT and all 11th graders that took the PSAT, and they kind of run a sophisticated report that if they did well in the critical reading section, the writing section, and the math section, they kind of pair them up with classes. So for instance, I see a correlation that if someone did well in their critical reading portion of uh, SATs, then they're, they are matched up with an English class, a, hist uh, a history class, a psychology class, because there's a lot of reading and writing in those classes. So if someone did well in the math portion, they'll pair them up with maybe a calculus class or something of that nature. So in the past, I would just run a report, and I would get maybe a good 75 to 80 students. But I think since they redid the whole SATs, there were some kinks to work out, and you know we're adjusting to the new exam. So I only got maybe 45 students that were on the AP Potential report. So I actually reached out to every teacher at Norristown Area High School that taught an honors level course and I asked them to please identify students that they felt, you know, had that, that something, had that desire, had that fire, had that potential to be pushed over and do well in an AP course. And they gave me the names and I invited them. And that's how we came up with our 75 to 80 students this year. And I thought that the concept was different, but it ended up being very successful. So what was the biggest advice you asked students about AP? I think the best advice that I could give students is that college is expensive. I think everybody knows that, but they don't really fully understand, like, what does it mean when you say it's expensive? So on AP Potential Night, I actually ran, let's say, three reports. I would say, if your child took um, AP English 11 and they got a three, a four, or a five, they could pay $53 or $83, take the exam, and cash it in for a college class. And then I would show them that Monco, they're saving $500 on English Comp 101. Westchester, they were saving $1,000. You know, Villanova, they were saving $2,000. So for one exam, one class that is, uh, you know, obviously very structured and difficult all year long will actually pay off to thousands of dollars. So the AP potential um, really gives the student potential to walk into college with, you know, uh, 10, 15, 20 credits, you know, maybe even a sophomore standing, which is, which is amazing. Um, but at minimum, even if you had one class under your belt, it shows colleges that you're taking the challenge. It gives you an idea of what a college level class looks like, what independent study looks like, how you maybe need to rearrange your life to get into college mode. Because, you know, the majority of the kids do tell me they would like to attend college. 
So is this geared for juniors or seniors? Um, I opened it up to ninth graders. I opened it up, even though ninth graders are not allowed into a lot of AP courses, I'm not trying to overwhelm your schedule. I want, if you have the potential, take one course, see what it's like. M maybe next year take two courses. I would say don't take more than three. I think after three, it becomes extremely overwhelming. Um, and you know, and I want you to have a well-balanced life. You know, I want you to go to work and have friends and have a good family life and study because you know, studying all day long is not, you know, not the end all and be all. You're not going to be happy. So I would say take one to three if you're eligible with teacher recommendation, and you could literally cash in on thousands of dollars at college. So what, are you guys gonna have another like you're gonna talk about AP potential again? prior to AP tests? Um, right now we're scheduling, so there's a method to our madness. So we sat down with administrators and we came up with a calendar. So, so AP, uh, PSATs were taken in the fall. Then they got the results back in January. Then we invited them for AP Potential in February, and now we're into scheduling. So we actually did that very purposefully. So now that they are meeting with teachers, getting you know their recommendations, meeting with their counselor, having that conversation, counselors are checking their prereqs because you know no matter how much potential you have, you still need to prove to us that you are doing the work in your previous course, you know, to sort of meet the prereqs. So everything is flowing along greatly. I really hope the kids here take advantage. We had at least 13, 14, 15 AP classes here. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a very decent amount, and I hope the kids really take advantage of it. So are you doing the plan to do the same tactics next year? Yes. I like the new uh, method that I put in this year, which is reaching out to teachers, because teachers will look at a student for 180 days. They know if that student has that spark, that potential, that something that is not on a piece of paper. So I love the teachers who gave me names. I invited them. And this might be the first time a kid has ever been maybe recognized for something, you know, and we're going to put them on that path of success, or at least that path of you know what college looks like so I think that uh, we do a really good job of really reaching out to parents community and teachers and the AP teachers are involved as well they go to the AP potential day they go to AP potential night you know these are both things that uh, you know they're just doing more than the average school districts just to reach out to the students okay so why do you think it's important for students especially maybe sophomores juniors to like try these AP classes and, and take a test because what if they like they don't do well on AP tests? So well, like nothing? if they don't score, let's say a three, four, or five, they still get the weight of the class. They still get the class on their transcript. They still get to maybe show, you know, a, a, a college that they did take the challenge. So there really is no downside to AP uh, taking an AP exam. You, you know ahead of time that there's a cost to the exam, that nothing is hidden. You could save all year. You could talk to myself or Mr. Brenner if there's a financial problem. You know, and the teachers here are experienced and they will help you. So the honest about it, I don't think there's any downside to taking an AP course. If anything, you can at least be proud of yourself to say that, hey, I took an AP class. I never thought that I was even going to go to college and now I'm on my way to taking an AP course and maybe on my way to college. Do you get more credits for like certain AP class? Like what if you do like AP math, would you get more credits in AP English? Or is it the same? Um, for the most part, colleges are three credits a piece. Mm -hmm. Some of the sciences are four credits. So for the most part, I would say that you're getting a three-credit course under your belt, like a Western Civilization, a Psychology 101, an English Comp 101, uh, maybe a, 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 a Biology 101. So it's just the general level 101 classes, so that when you enter college, you might skip to the 200-level classes or just omit some 101 classes off of your schedule in order to progress forward. So again, I think it's all positive. College is so expensive these days. People are in debt. So this is a way that they can, you know, cut a couple thousand dollars from their from their bill, I think it's worth it. Is there anything you'd like to add? I just hope that the students that went to AP Potential Day and the parents that went to AP Potential Night really take advantage of this opportunity that we have to provide here at Norristown Area High School. Thank you so much, Ms. Wiegand. Thank you. I'm Keen Williams with Ms. Wiegand, and we're talking about the AP Potential Day and Night. Now back to our host.